every time you have an opportunity to do something that somebody else isn't doing, you need to take that opportunity and you need to optimize it like I think we're doing right now. That's number two. And then number three, when we go home, people need to say, where were you? You look fucking great. Not, ooh, you better get back to the gym, honey. Ooh, look a little flabby, Jakey. Ooh, look a little skinny, Ryan. Ooh, look a little puppy, Chelsea. That's not what this is. When you go home, people should say, where did you go and how do I get there? Not because of your fucking Instagram story, although those are nice, but because of what you look like and the weight and presence that you bring to the place that you go. So the fasting at 11, the eating at 11, that still goes on. The 150 ounces of water, that still goes on. Right? They eat packing your meals and eating your cheap pasta and sauce, that still goes on. Right? None of that stuff. Getting up early, that still goes on. It all still goes on. Because you've got to come back and you've got to look like you went to fucking Costa Rica and came back transformed. That's the point of the story. Okay, so that was download like number one. Uh, download number two. This moment this morning at 6 a.m., sitting on the beach in Costa Rica, meditating with two people that I adore. No one else is doing it. Every time you have an opportunity to do something that somebody else isn't doing, whether it's somebody you mentally compete with, whether it's somebody that's talked shit about you like we talked about last night, or it's just you being better than you were yesterday, you need to do something today that you didn't do yesterday because you're outworking yourself. You need to take that opportunity and you need to optimize it like I think we're doing right now. That's number two. And then number three, in order to own everything, you can possess nothing. Nothing that we have, that we hold on to, will be able to remain ours. Nor will we be able to receive more if we hold on to it tight. That could be relationships, that could be people, that could be money, that could be a car, that could be a hat, that could be a shirt, that could be uh, a pair of sneakers that you think are fancy, that could be the way that you're looked at at work. That, I mean, it could be anything. But the more you hold on to that thing, you start to actually lose it. You actually start to lose ground. Whatever that thing is in our life that we're holding on to for our identity, that we're trying to possess, that has to be released. Because as you release that, you begin to own everything. And I think that was the other thing. So those are my three 20-minute meditations.